mess of it. All uh, his new jokes are gonna be all new for me, just as that, and for you. Are you excited? Yeah! yeah. So let's welcome Matt! Woo! All right, listen up. Thanks everybody for coming to my show. <laughs> it's my second show. All my shows have been great so far. <laughs> including this one. It's my second show, so I figured I'll try some new material. Aww. I know a lot of you guys came to hear my old stuff. <laughs> the classics. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll still sprinkle some in for nostalgia, for old time's sake. I still appreciate my old work, though I've grown and changed with time. It's fun to look back over the days since I started and reflect the good old days. I feel like only white guys say that. <laughs> Time's getting progressively better for everyone else. <laughs> Still harken back to a simpler time. I'm from the US. You can probably tell from my nasally voice. I have this nasally voice because my nose is permanently stuffed. My nose is permanently stuffed because I'm allergic to dust. That's true. I'm allergic to dust, the byproduct of human existence. My body can't handle it. It's a bad gene. That is not a winning evolutionary trait. I don't know how that one made it through. But yeah, I'm from the US. It's not a great time to be from the US. Especially in Europe. Europeans find out you're from the US, they immediately think you're an asshole. <laughs> Europe's not a country. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> I learned that in school. <laughs> but I'm not in school anymore, I'm 29. It makes me a man. <laughs> full-grown adult male. I like saying it like that. It makes me sound like a gorilla. The beard indicates I'm of mating age. Gross. It's also a warning sign to rival males. This guy gets it. This dude's fucking my girlfriend tonight. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit there and fucking watch like this dude. <laughs> yeah, 29 means I'm turning 30 soon next year. If you think about it, <laughs> if you do the math. A lot of people get upset when they're turning 30 because they're fucking losers. <laughs> Turning 30 is great if you're me. <laughs> if you're living your dreams like me. I'm living my dreams. Working my dream job. Middle management. <laughs> I always dreamed of having symbolic authority. <laughs> When I grow up, I'm gonna tell people what to do. If my boss approves. <laughs> I always dreamed of ensuring adequate documentation is maintained by all of our global logistics partners. It's not just fun, it pays good too. Never would have thought that by 30, I could afford to ride a bike. <laughs> and 
share an apartment. <laughs> share an apartment with a man I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure he's nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm living my dreams. I'm in a long distance relationship. Living my dreams of not having sex <laughs> with anyone. Yeah, uh, I thought it would take longer than that. That's all the material I was gonna share tonight. <laughs> Perfect. Good. I'm a white man. In case there's any blind people in the audience. Diversity matters. I'm a white man. It's not a great time to be a white man. Comparatively. Things have gotten a lot more competitive since, you know, it became legal for other people to compete. <laughs> yeah, it's tough being a white man. If you don't succeed, you can only blame yourself. 